everyone. Today I'm driving the M8E1 from the American Retarded Tank Control. On Studiansky, a map I rather like, mostly because it favors <laughs> fast tanks with good, with good guns and good camouflage ratings and good view range, all of which things the M8E1 definitely has. Now, yes, you're probably crying out seal clubbing, you're not entirely wrong, but Blame War Gaming, they, they put out a fairly nice looking mission where if I got three wins in a tier two through five vehicle, I would get some cool stuff. And I was like, you know what? I'd like to play this mission. So as of this one right here, I've already won two battles, one in a tier five tank, I think it was my M4 Sherman, and one in another tier four I'm working on. I think it was my Czech STV-38, something like that. Um, I have to admit, I don't quite remember. Uh, so now, to get, just to finish the mission, because I'm running out of time, and I'm also, at this point I was like, I'm almost like I'm tired of tanks, I've been playing for different missions now for a couple hours. I pull up the M8A1 to just go get it done. And I've come up here to the north end, because there's no artillery to play with, so I've decided, since I don't see anyone up here, I'm going to try and take vision control of this part of the map. First thing I do is spot a 1C and an LTV-38. Cool, well the LTV-38 is nice up to hold still, so I'm just going to catch the bird him first. For the team's Enemy first kill. Destroyed. And then the 1C comes up, and I'm like, ah, the 1Cs are evil. The 1C, missed the 1C. And I duck back into cover here because although there's no artillery, that doesn't mean that there aren't tank destroyers hanging out back there. And having big chunks or even all of my health taken off by a single shot is not something I'm really a big fan of. Once I'm sure I'm invisible again, I once again start carefully poking up. An eye out for the 1C whenever I think he's going to pop up, I'm looking for chances to shoot the enemy team. Because that is, in fact, what this tank is for. The 1C pops back up. Confident in my tank's camouflage. Nudge up a little bit. Try and pop a shot to Miss it horribly. Hit <laughs> again. And once again, duck back into cover so that I will hopefully lose no health to enemy TDs that I'm certain are camping on that knoll just to my southwest, and maybe like 150 miles away. Here I see this T28, and I'm like, I don't know if come out where can shoot me. I'm trying to use my gun depression here, but if anyone's gun depression is a little bit fire. sad about it. I just pop out, swing a quick shot, and then once again, duck back. But that's not really the M8A1's forte, and of course, it misses. So that's when the 1C decides he wants to rush me. Well, the 1C is a mean little machine, don't get me wrong, but the M8A1 has just enough frontal armor to stand its little machine gun. And also, my radio operator takes a hit and lose a little bit of health. Overall, the trade works out pretty well for me. <laughs> And not for him. So, with him gone, I'm like, huh, the other side of this ridge is not clear, so I just have to carefully nudge forward again to regain vision control of the other side of the ridge. Briefly stopped to just, you know, get a shot at this T29. Fortunately, it's the Tier 3 Russian and not the Tier 7 American. Uh, that would be a slightly different uh, matchup. Now, notice here, watch, watch how I'm using these bushes. Whenever I see something spot, I pull back to the bushes, go opaque to uh, maximize my concealment, to minimize my chances I will be just headshot by the Hetzer or torn apart by the Electo or the T-40 on the other team. Now one of my teammates, the Sav M43 behind me, is saying, hey, go light things up there. And I'm there like, you aren't even in a position to, to do anything. So I refuse. Instead, I'm going to sit here and just maintain vision control over this part of the map. Because at the moment, my team looks to be somewhat in the lead, but this is a tier 4 game. Things happen, re change really quickly sometimes in tier 4 games because, well, it, it has to be this. Too many, so many, a lot of the players are very inexperienced at this level, and as a result, they'll try really silly things. So when the, when the, stu when the student tries to and tries to say, hey, you should be spotting, my response is, well, I could, but there's no one in a position to support me. Uh, I just am not interested. <laughs> In, um, in wasting my tank that way, because I'm pretty sure there's tanks in front of me. So he's, he's pinging where he thinks I want to spot. It's like, no, by the time I can spot that, uh, I'll be in the open and I'll probably be dead. So I'm just going to maintain my position here until either support shows up or the enemy drives out in front of me. Uh, Lux is doing a crazy, crazy spotting run. Unfortunately, nothing is popping up yet where I can shoot it. But then something does. The Electo shoots I get the spot because I'm up here and I just start ripping into it. Now, I should have pulled back from the bushes first, but I wasn't sure how long I had before he disappeared. So I take the risk here, a little bit of risk here. I could have been headsert, I could have been T 40 out of existence. But I'm allowed to get away with it. And 
Electo was left on fairly low health. Once I'm sure I'm not spotted anymore, I'll once again move forward to resume a good spotting position. I try not to be in the exact same spot. Oh, almost immediately there's results. An enemy T-46 is spotted. Seeing that I move carefully to make sure I'm really just close enough to see through the bushes and then wait to see what he does. And he pulls out where I can get him, but not only that, a T-40 shows him. Like, oh, yes, perfect. Pull back. Penetration. Blam. 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 And Enemy armor blam. Blam. Two more kills for my fourth and fifth kill. All without being detected. I get some praise from a team member. <laughs> They're like, yes. Yes, it's, it's almost like I play this game a lot. <laughs> uh, because, well, let's be honest, I probably have as many matches on just my account as the entire friendly and enemy team, do, either the entire friendly or the entire enemy team do. I've just, I've played this game way too many times. So now I'm chilling, but despite my, my recent achievements, I'm, the team is still only just barely in the lead. And uh, they're being picked off one by one as they try and move up in the south. We still haven't spotted. There's uh, all the Hetzer, Matilda. The, most of the enemy tanks have been spotted at this point. It's just a question of where they're hiding. Our T-127 very boldly goes forward, but he's run headlong into a Matilda. That doesn't work out so well for him. Uh, so now it's a 5 versus 5. So I decide to warn my T-40 that I'm moving forward. I'm expecting him to cover me. As I'm moving forward, a T-28 pops out. And I'm there like, oh, please don't see me. Please don't see me. I'm in the open. <laughs> uh, as I make it for this null, where I really am thinking I'm going to run into the Electo. But as it turns out, the Electo has actually moved on. So now I'm looking for this T-28. And I'm like, oh, hit a tree. Don't, don't, don't let them see you. <laughs> T-40 slings a shot. And I do not see any indicators that I that I, he got damaged. At first, I'm thinking that T-40 has missed, which with the house is a semi occurrence. But then I move forward and... Hmm, that T-28 is looking a lot less healthy than we last saw. I'm going to back up here, try and get a concealed shot in to finish him, and miss entirely, because I wasn't aiming very well. I quickly snap off two more shots when he vanishes. Neither one of those connects either. I now turn to um, move off, but I'm not paying attention. <laughs> Sorry about that, T-40. <laughs> it's not actually trying to run into you there. The good news is that, well, it turns out no, no harm, no foul. So now I'm going to continue very cautiously advancing. This is a this is a really nerve-wracking thing. There's a, a tier three light tank showing up on XVM is actually having a good clue how to play. So I'm kind of wondering if I'm going to end up driving headlong into some form of ambush. But well, someone's got to do it. So I'm going to take advantage of my sixth sense here. Just barely poke the ridge and fall back to see if I get spotted. And when after three seconds pass and nothing happens, I move forward into the next bush. And once I'm surf, I'm concealed, I stop and I turn on my binoculars to see if I, I spot anything on the next ridge line. The next bit here is just me being, well, nervous, really. Um, I'm looking around, I can see that, you know, I've got a Matilda. A couple of Matildas on the left, I got the T-40 on my right. I'm like, T-40 on my right. Probably shouldn't ask him to scout. Uh, maybe the Matildas? No, they're both pretty shot up. I guess it's really up to me to do the scouting, isn't it? So, I have to sit here and steal myself a bit. This is this is a steering moment where I'm like, I really could be deciding who wins or loses the game here. Uh, and then I very carefully, but, you know, so I made it one quite quickly. <laughs> so you can see I'm zigzagging here to make myself a slightly harder target. I hit this ridge, I pop up, show myself for just a moment, and once again drop back. I'm taking advantage of my sixth sense once again. When I'm not spotted, I move up to the next set of bushes to try and scout ahead. I want to see if anything's hiding in these bushes right up ahead of me. So I stop here to get my binoculars up. I don't see anything, so I pop my butt out around this building corner and move back forward immediately to see if I get spotted. And I don't. So I decide it's safe to move up to the next line here. I'm really wishing this bush line was a little bit further out so I could use these bushes here to poke around that building, but instead... Uh, okay, you can see 40s moving up. So I'm going to carefully poke out here, just as our Matilda dies, and that's when a whole bunch of stuff pops up. Oh my! Okay, there's the Electo, and although 
I just really haven't noticed the Matilda mini map yet, or I'd be shooting it. But I could finish off the Electo. That's why I noticed the Matilda. Ooh! Destroyed. Hang on! Not interested. Uh, I don't really want to take on a Matilda at a close range gun duel. That, that, that just seems like a bad idea. So, I'm going to pull back. I'm only thinking the T40 is going to be a little bit more sensible when he sees me running, and he's also going to run away. Because that Matilda is rushing us. Unfortunately, uh, there goes our second Matilda. He got picked off by that Stritzwagen, and I'm just there like, nope, 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 nope. That's, that's a, that's, there's lots of guns back there. I am not interested in hanging out where there's lots of guns to shoot at me. I want to fall back into a good support position. And I'm really expecting that Matilda to pile out and just take on that T-40, and I'm just going to gun him down from back here. But that's exactly how this is going to work, right? Nope, Matilda stops in cover where I can't quite get at him, and just tears the unfortunate T-40 to bits. Oh. So now it's just me in a Tier 3 IKB-72, and we've got a Matilda, a Hetzer, and a Stritzvon to kill. So for a moment here, I'm really popping around. I'm really hoping that Matilda will rush out where I can just quickly murder him, because that would be delightful. When I see he's not going to, I decide my next best plan is to try and form up with my AKV so for, for two reasons. One, it gives uh, me more guns and support. And two, it gives them someone else to shoot at. Yeah, I'm terribly callous. I am an evil, high-level player in SEAL clubbing, <laughs> which means I really, really want to have someone else to shoot at. So I'm, gonna take a, I'm thinking of taking a risk here and using the central ravine to try and meet up with the IKV. And that's when the cap siren starts up and they go on second thought. I am going to go and defend my cap circle. So it's a real question here what's on the cap circle. There are two possible opponents that could be there. It's either the Hetzer or it's the Stritzvon. Now I'm not really sure which one I'd prefer it was. If it's the Stritzvon, he's, he's their better player. Killing him will greatly increase our chances of getting a win here. But if it's the Hetzer, well, I mean, it's the more dangerous tank. It'd be good to get it to quickly pop up and kill it, but he's also one of the few tanks that can carry a gun that can, in fact, one-shot kill me from full health. But I'm going to make a covert approach here. And as I'm approaching, sure enough, bink, spot the Stritz Vile. Like, Alright, excellent. I'm just going to use premium here because the match is getting a little tense and I really just want to make sure this guy dies. Enemy armor is hit. And that's him, taken out in Enemy just a few, just a couple destroyed. quick shots. Now I do get spotted, but well, I kind of figured that was going to happen. Uh, so I'm going to turn around and run this way. I'm really hoping it will happen now. Matilda will be chasing, and I'm going to pop into the hidden ledge over here and take him out. But instead, I find a Hetzer. Oh. Um. Okay. I, I just auto-lock on him and just start shooting while I run for some cover, because I can already tell he's got the derp gun. In the meantime, though, my IKB-72 has started camping, and I go to myself, hmm, this has interesting possibilities. Either I'm in a one-on-one -on -one versus the Hetzer, Matilda's going back to reset right now, damaged. or the Matilda's going to come with the Hetzer to try and kill me. In which case, the IKV is going to win the game by capping, because the Matilda is really, really slow. Actually, the Hetzer is also really, really slow. So I decide I'm just going to play a cagey game, and either I'm going to kill the Hetzer, or the Matilda's going and the Matilda will uh, kill the uh, the IKV, or they'll both show up here, and I'll do my level best to kill both of them while they're busy wasting their time while my ally caps. Having on two good ambushes into the into him, I'm turning this way to go around when oh, Matilda! Being unable to get away, I'm just going to stand here and just trade DPM, because frankly, my DPM's every bit as good as his, and my gun's every bit as good as his, and no hits her, I don't think so! Ooh. And yeah, um, heal my driver, and yeah, okay, I'm a one-shot, but I was always a one-shot for him. And with the Hetzer here, up here, and with only seconds to go in the match, but with just enough time left, I know I've got the win, so I'm just going to try and kill the Hetzer, and he's just going to try and kill me. And unfortunately, that round bounced, or I would have had him. But there's no way the Hetzer is going to teleport back to base in 11 seconds to take out the IKV. So this is, in fact, a, a win uh, for my team, as the IKV earns his Invader Medal uh, to claim victory for this match. Let's take a look at the post-game stats of this match right about now. 
So, um, yeah, high caliber, top gun, and amazingly, Spartan for bouncing a whole bunch of rounds for the for the Panzer 1C. Um, a pretty good match. Technically, I could have gotten a Radley Walters, but you can't get those below tier 5. So, eh, oh well, no big deal. Still get a couple bombs and uh, get, a, get that mission done, and also a tank destroyer mission as well. Uh, if we take a look at the team stats here, you'll see just how seal clubby this little mission is. It was pretty crazy. 1,300, almost 1,400 damage for 1,068 base experience. <laughs> uh, this tank, I mean, it's basically a miniature T-67 that doesn't have gun as much gun depression. Uh, but it's still quick, it still has that full really rotatable turret, it's still got a crazy ass gun that will just mow through most of the tanks that we'll see with absolutely no problem whatsoever. It's only a real problem is that its health pool is very, very small. If we take a look at the personal stats, you're going to see just how much uh, that was. 34 shots fired, 24 hits, 23 pens, curse that final bounce on the Hetzer, uh, for all that crazy damage. Traveled over 4 kilometers on Studiansky, pretty typical. Lost money because I just started spewing premium like a maniac there at the end. Uh, but still came away with a couple bonds, not too much loss, and a very nice XP score to boot. I hope you all enjoyed watching that match. Good game and good night.